This is Nancy Hart from Whispers, Sinners, and Saints. And I was supposed to be on a Zoom today, but the something went wrong. And instead of being able to Zoom something, I thought, well, I'm not going to waste my time. The topic I was supposed to discuss was Whispers. They're very interested, or I think it's the internet. They can't help it. But um, I'd like to talk about whispers. He has uh, definitely come to me. And if he's not with me, then I know I have two or three, three for sure, guiding angels. I was told I had these guiding angels when I came out of India and I was um, coming out of a Buddhist place where you pray. It was really where the Bodhi tree is, and that is where Buddha got enlightenment. I sat under the Bodhi tree, and while I was sitting there, this wonderful woman came up to me with a lotus flower, and she wanted to give me a lotus flower, and she said, oh, you are Buddhist. And I said, well, I don't have any money. I thought, you know, being an American, maybe that's why she was trying to sell me the flower, but through some kind of sign language, I guess, you know, she pushed, pressed it in my hand very nicely and smiled and she told me it was to be mine. So I, I went into a cave that they had there and, uh, there was some kind of prayer going on and I just mimicked whatever they were doing because I uh, I just was overpowered by the beauty of, of being a part of something so beautiful. I hope I didn't intrude on what this lady was doing and somebody was guiding her on what to do and I was just behind her postulating to the Buddha and whatever else they were doing. I didn't understand the words that they were saying, but they were praying. And then when I got out, um, there was all this electricity that ran through my feet. And actually it was the second that I walked out onto, cause this was an open temple. And the minute I walked out onto the pebbles there, I looked behind me and I saw my mother could not join me because she was so evil that uh, something like that made her writhe. And I was like, oh, this is great. I don't have to be with my mother because she's, um, you know, if you read my book, Whisper Sinners and Saints, which is over there, then you'll know that uh, bad things happen to good people too. And I just wasn't going to let the bad things change me. So I stepped onto the rocks it, and as I did, I saw electricity all throughout. I mean, this is a very big, wide, vast space. I've, I've only seen something like that once before. And uh, I write about that in the second book. That's from when my grandmother died. All in New York City, just it went black and there was all this electricity that I could even hear it. Uh, the crackling and the noise that electricity makes, you know, when it powers down and then powers back up again. And then this, uh, going back to India, when I had stepped on the grounds and I see all this, it went up through my body and I said, oh, it's here to cleanse me and to take everything that's negative and to just trust the process and let it all go back into the earth. And the earth is uh, earth mother. Earth mother knows what to do with all my pain. And I thought, wow, this is really magnificent. So at the end um, of that, then I sat under the Bodhi tree. The woman gave me the flower and I went into the cave. I did some praying. Then after that, there were all these candles that I could light. And I just was really overjoyed by the bliss. There was something just beautiful. And I was probably sniffling and a little bit moved, right? So then I get out and uh, my mother, there's ships about to leave. So we got to, we're kind of on a time schedule. And she's 
definitely not going to step over that threshold, though. She felt that there was such a strong power. She was not going to step over that threshold. And I, I said, okay, you just go to the bus. I'll meet you at the bus. The bus takes you to the, you know, the boat. And I, I uh, left, walked out of where the rocks were. And then I saw three beings and it was strange because they kind of looked like Mama Cass, which is really not, not like nothing much. Okay. But I turned around and I would, and I heard whispers and he says, no, you got to pay attention. You stand here and they're going to tell you something. And then I think it's called esoterically, but their soul came to me one by one and told and had each one had to, a message for me. And I just stood there and I was like, yes, I'm ready for the message. So one came and told me, I am always with you. You don't have to ask for me to be with you. I'm always with you. I said, oh, thank you so very much. That's so very nice of you. And then she was, she went back into the body, right? The soul. And then the next one, and they all three looked like triplets, but they were about in their sixties, gray hair. And like I say, just, you know, nothing much. The second one, the soul starts, uh, comes and just tells me, I am there, but only when you ask for me to be there. And all you have to do is ask and I will be there. And I was like, okay, well, thank you very much for that. I appreciate that. Thank you for coming. And then she goes back into her body. The soul goes back to the body. And I'm still looking at how funny they are at the low wall, sitting there. And they're not even really looking at me. They're looking at each other, yet this is going on. And then the third soul starts coming. It says, can't ask for me to be there? And I'm not always with you, but I'm with you when you need me to be there with you. But you can't ask for me to be there. I was like, oh, okay, wow, that's really something. Okay, well, thank you very much for that. And then I heard my mother, she had come around off the bus or I don't know where she was coming from again. And eh, Nancy, okay, that's the end of that. And it's a, a piece that I always keep in my heart and on a difficult day. I did have a difficult day today. Sometimes I have a difficult day out in the world because I find people are a little bit cruel they don't even realize it. They're all caught up in their own selves and they just think that uh, they can act whatever way they want to. And that's kind of wrong. So I think that's the reason I have to recall this. And I'm going to probably go downstairs and give myself some nice meditation outside under the full moon. It's the full flower moon tonight. And it's also... Uh, like, uh, the, I think when Buddha was born today. So it's a magical day and the universe is telling me I need to introspect, not to look for happiness or for anything from outside and the other people. So may the light above, whether it be through the moon shine or whatever makes your heart shine, may it shine through you and think about the other people that you might be affecting. You're more powerful than you think. May the light shine through you and through all the people that you know.